Hey, I'm Cameron McKenzie at Cameron MCNZ. I want to talk to you about Jenkins build pipelines and specifically build pipelines that build with Maven. And I want to show you how you use just the regular Maven that comes with the default Jenkins install and also how to use that Jenkins integration with Maven plugin as well. So I'd like to show you how to write a pipeline with Maven. Now, one thing I will say, I'm gonna demonstrate two things. I'm gonna demonstrate how to use the Jenkins pipeline with the built-in Maven features, but I'm also going to show you how you can use the Maven integration plugin as well for pipelines. So that means going over to manage plugins over here, clicking on available, and then looking for that Maven integration pipeline plugin. So let's see if that's available to me. It's building the plugin list as we speak. And then there we go, pipeline Maven integration. Without that, I can't reference the Maven pipeline, the, the with Maven call inside of my pipeline script. You'll see that in just a moment. So I've got that installed, as I said, I don't need that to simply call Maven at the command line in a pipeline, but if I wanna take advantage of some Maven integration plugin features, I need it. So how do you create a pipeline that'll build a Maven project? Well, just so you know, I've got a project over here. It's my rock, paper, scissors project right there. You can see it's got a palm file, which means it's a Maven based, all sorts of source code and tests in there. And I'd like to compile that. I'd like to compile it regularly. So I'm gonna create a Maven Jenkins integration pipeline example. And this is not gonna be the Maven project. I'm just gonna click on the Super Mario Brothers pipeline pipe right there and click okay. And then everything goes into the pipeline section. So I'm gonna click on pipeline here. I've actually pre-configured a pipeline. So I'm not gonna bore you by writing this line by line, but Basically what you do is you start off with the pipeline tag and then you say, this can run anywhere. If you start using Docker, you usually specify maybe a Docker container in there. But here we're just gonna run this locally, so any is fine. Then you have your different stages. So the first stage is just gonna be printing out some version info. So I'll get the Maven version, the Java version, the Git version, that's just some logging. You don't have to do that, I just like, it just kind of gives me some information about my environment, just adds another stage there. Here's really the guts. This is the git command here that you use in order to pull from your remote repository. And that URL there is that GitHub URL that you would get if you copied from the actual GitHub site. And so you specify git and that, and that's part of the DSL, the domain specific language, the Jenkins language that you use in plugins that knows if it says git and then a URL that it will do a clone of that repository and pull it down. And then we're just gonna run as a shell script, maven compile test install, and that runs maven at the command line and life is good. So you can do all of this without that maven integration pipeline. So if we just had that, we wouldn't need that pipeline. However, some people do like to use that pipeline and the pipeline's not too bad. It actually makes a, a few extra variables available to your scripts that you can use. If you wanna use the pipeline, what you have is you have this with Maven tag that you put into your DSL. This actually runs everything within the Maven integration, Jen Maven Jenkins integration plugin. And it gives you the ability to do things like spec specify parameters or specify settings or specify a custom Maven repository. In this case, what I've done is I've specified which Maven installation is going to run my build. And I've configured a tool called Maven Latest and I'm gonna compile my code with that particular version. Whereas this one up here, it just uses the Maven version that's on the path. So that's just one example of how we can get it to work there. Notice I've got the SH, that usually stands for shell script. I'm on Windows, you would normally do bat on Windows, but I find it works the same way. So I'm just gonna leave it like that. The DSL kind of does the translation for me. I don't know if that will always work, but it works sometimes. And yeah, just taking a look at that. That is a pipeline script. So basically you've got all of your Jenkins steps and stages, your entire job, all configured in a single file. And just so you know, this is really all I need to compile with Maven, or this is all I need. I'm actually just doing two builds all in one pipeline just to demonstrate how you can use both 
the regular Jenkins facilities and also the Jenkins integration pipeline plugin. So I'll click apply and save and save and apply and I will say, hey, build now. And as that's building, I'm just gonna point out the Maven latest that I configured. If I go over to manage Jenkins here, you'll actually see that, you know, let me scroll down. Oh, don't have to scroll down, global tool configuration. Now I'll have to scroll down. All of the build and also making the UI request is bogging my machine down. But you can see if I actually scroll down to the bottom of this page. Come on, refresh. Well, there should be a listing of Maven installations. And there it is. That's the Maven latest that's been configured. And that points to 363 on my local machine. So, And that was what we saw in that pipeline script. The pipeline script said, hey, use Maven latest. And you can add multiple Maven versions there depending on what version you want to actually run your builds on. There may be a need to, to have different versions going. Okay, and so that looks like it all ran successfully. I'll click on the Maven in Jenkins integration pipeline example. I take a look at the logs for just the printout of the different versions. We can see our Git, Java, and Maven versions. We can see here that if we go in and take a look at the the build that didn't happen with the Maven Jenkins integration plugin, well, you can see that everything seemed to work swimmingly. So we get build success. And I redid that build just to prove out the Jenkins Maven integration pipeline plugin that I installed at the beginning here. And you can see again, that does everything as well. And we again get a successful build as we would expect. And there you go. That is the ins and outs of creating a pipeline, a, a Jenkins job through code, a Jenkins pipeline as code. That's how the code looks right in there. I think it's pretty handsome. And if you want to use Jenkins and Maven and use it all inside of a pipeline, that's how you do it. Now, I don't know why that word Docker is in there. <laughs> I'm just going to get rid of that. Um, that shouldn't be there. We didn't use Docker. But you know what? That's going to be the next one. Anyways, there you go. That's how you integrate it all together. And there you go. That's how easy it is to write a Jenkins pipeline that uses Maven and the Maven Jenkins integration pipeline plugin. Now, if you enjoyed that tutorial, why don't you head over to the serverside.com. We've got lots of great tutorials on Jenkins, Maven, enterprise software development, you name it. If you're interested in my personal antics, you can always follow me on Twitter at CameronMCNZ and subscribe on YouTube.